Welcome to Lone Star Conference Media Days 2022-23 Ram Basketball Edition, courtesy of Angelo All Access. We're here with first year head coach Benay Patel. Benay, last three years at Northwest Oklahoma State. 20 and nine last season with the Rangers uh, in the Great American the GAC Conference. Also with a 3.39 classroom GPA on the team. Benay, for those who don't know what you bring to the coaching here at Angelo State, Tell the San Angelo faithful a little bit of what to expect from you. Well, I mean, first and foremost, I'm, I'm excited to be here. Uh, you know, family is one of the main things that attracted me to Angelo State. Uh, you know, my parents retired here. My sister uh, is an alum. She came here in 2000, graduated, uh, got married, never left. So, you know, family was a big deal for me. So it was something that really attracted me to come to ASU. But, you know, and I think if you listen to people talk about our programs over the years uh, you know we want to be a team uh, and we want to excel on and off the floor uh, and I know everybody harps on those things and you know it's the team that does that the best that succeeds uh, at the end of the day but you know I'm really big on unity within our team and, and coming together when times are tough and uh, overcoming adversity uh, so you know one of the things our teams have always been really good and uh, with is, is on the defensive end and, and it comes down to toughness. Uh, you know, we've been one of the toughest teams uh, I feel like in most leagues we've been in. Uh, you know, when we hit the floor, uh, it's something we really hang our hat on and something we take a lot of pride in is, uh, you know, just being blue collar and tough. Yeah, and you talk about that toughness and speaking of toughness, Lone, Lone Star Conference, tough league. This is your second stint, started off at West Texas and now back here at Angelo State. What does it mean being back in the Lone Star Conference, and what do you expect from the conference this season? Well, I'm excited to be back. You know, I spent uh, nine years at West Texas, and uh, really enjoyed my time there and uh, under Coach Cooper. Uh, he's now on uh, Mark Adams' staff uh, at Texas Tech, so that's uh, the coaching tree I fall under. And, and you know, if you see their teams play, and uh, they play, uh, you know, very aggressive defensively, and you know, that's what we're going to carry uh, back into this league uh, as far as our end. Uh, things uh, you know that's the identity I want to bring to our team is we're going to start first on the defensive end and we're going to let that uh, carry into our offense uh, we want it to be a high octane offense we want to play fast uh, we want to get up and down the floor but for us uh, you know it's going to come back to can we get stops you know and it's just the way I've grown up as a coach uh, you know and so I'm excited to be back in this league because if you look at uh, you know top to bottom go down to the league uh, you see some really, really good teams in this conference. Uh, you know, there's no night off. Uh, I knew that nine years ago, uh, you know, when I was last in this league to, to when I'm back now. I mean, there's no night off. Uh, you know, preseason rankings, you can throw those out the window because uh, on any given night, you can win or lose. You know, and it's going to come down to the team that makes the most plays and, and that's able to get the most stops. And so it's something I'm excited to be back in. You know, it's uh, a different league from when I was in it the last time. It's merged now. Uh, with the old Heartland Conference. I was fortunate enough to spend a year in the Heartland, so I'm still familiar with those teams as well. But, uh, you know, it's a big league, and, and that's the thing that's uh, probably going to make it fun for a lot of our guys is uh, you travel all over the place, you know, major cities uh, all across uh, New Mexico, Texas, Oklahoma, Arkansas, and, and I think it's the best league in the country. And you talk about that defensive tenacity. And you've brought in players, we'll talk to Steve Webb here shortly, who's Defensive Player of the Year three years in a row, GLVC. Uh, talk about him and some of the other newcomers that you expect that you've brought in to make a difference on this team this year. Well, you know, uh, if we're going to say we want to guard, then we need to put our money where our mouth is. And I thought Steve Webb helped us do that with our recruiting class. Uh, Three-time Defensive Player of the Year in the league and another D2 conference. Uh, you just don't hear about that uh, with the player. And so, uh, you know, he, we were very excited to get him along with the rest of the guys. You know, Willie Guy was the first kid we signed in our class. He's a Division One transfer point guard from North Dakota State. Uh, you know, he's won a national championship uh, at the junior college level. The thing we focused on in recruiting is finding winners and, and guys that know how to win on and off the floor. We have an older team. It's something I'm really excited about. Uh, I think we got three guys, four guys that are over 23 years old. Uh, we got three or four guys that are already in the master's program here. Uh, so it was something that we wanted to do is we wanted to be older because we needed to bring some experience into our program 
we only return around 18 points a game from last year. So we needed to go get some guys uh, that had experience on the floor. Uh, and that's really how we started building our recruiting class. So when we signed Willie Guy first, uh, you know, we brought in an experienced, heady point guard that we thought could really run our team. Uh, Trey Mitchell is a Division One transfer we signed from Central Connecticut. Uh, he played junior college at Phoenix College where he was 20 a game there. Uh, he was almost 10 a game at Central Connecticut, so he brings some scoring punch to it. Uh, Reggie Casada is a uh, combo guard we signed out of Daytona State to just filled up the stat sheet uh, in his two years at junior college. Uh, so he was another guard we were excited to bring in. Of course, we talked about Steve already. Uh, brought in Kylan Owens from Tarleton State, uh, all of 6'9", 240, uh, to add some muscle on the inside. And, and uh, you know, it, it was an area, knowing this league and knowing the teams that are in this league, I think the unique thing about the conference is you have some smaller, faster teams that can get up and down, and, and they're going to really stretch it from the perimeter. And then you have some bruising teams that are going to try to throw the ball inside and take advantage of the paint. And we wanted to put together a team that could combat both styles of play and that's where Kylan uh, came in and was such an important piece to our class was just bringing a little bit more physicality uh, inside uh, you know we brought in Barlow Alaruzzo late uh, so he was another interior kid that we added another 6'9 240 pound uh, division one transfer from eastern Illinois and he can stretch it out to the three and, and he's probably our most versatile uh, forward because he can play inside out as far as our new guys uh, are concerned so Really excited about those guys, and then we added two young pieces uh, inside as, or uh, on the perimeter, uh, but uh, close your class out with two high school kids as well uh, in Jacob Richardson and Austin Scopel. So, you know, we want to build some depth in our program, uh, and I want to start getting to a point where we can even our classes out a little bit and have guys that are uh, consistently in the program over the course of time. Uh, so we did that. You know, you look at uh, Kylan Owens, and he's got three years to play. And, uh, both Reggie and Willie got three years to play or two years to play and so we try to do it to where we'd have some faces back uh, because I know experience is key in this league. Uh, we got some really good experience this year back uh, and some returning guys that played in some very uh, important games last year and I want that to continue on moving forward. So you know really excited about the guys that we brought in. Uh, you know it's just can we get together as a team and, and become one as a unit? You know that's what we're going to find out in a hurry. Yeah, and you talk about experience in the league being an important thing. Talk about some of those guys that are returning from last year's team and how they've helped the new guys that are coming in. Well, they've done a great job of just getting everyone uh, acclimated with ASU and Angelo State. Uh, I think you ask almost all of them, they know how to operate on a day-to-day -day basis here. They've been a lot of fun to be around. I had a lot of questions for them when I came in. Uh, uh, naturally because you know we're still trying to get acclimated to everything as a staff um, but you know Devon Thomas is, is, is a guy that started on and off for the last two years and he's been nine or ten a game very experienced at that forward spot for us uh, so you know we've been really excited about him uh, was kind of curious what direction he was going to go when we got in but he's just jumped in with both feet and, and done everything we asked so he's, he's been a phenomenal piece uh, Fredoline De La Cruz he played in and out, uh, you know, battled some injury last year, uh, but he's going to be a key piece in the interior for us. Uh, you know, he transferred in a year ago from UTA. I think he's probably in the best shape he's been in and probably the healthiest he's been in uh, probably three years now as a player. So we're excited to see him progress this year as a player. And then, you know, Kevon Godwin didn't play last year because of a medical redshirt, but was here the year before. Uh, and I'm very excited about him as a combo guard. He can fill it up, uh, you know, he can dribble pass and shoot. Uh, he's proven to be a reliable defender this uh, early in the season as far as what we've figured out about our team so far. Uh, we expect some really big things from him as well. Uh, and then we got four guys that are back that they've all contributed, they've all helped at some stage, and it's been their leadership and experience. Uh, it, you know, COVID has, has really made things unique. You know, B.J. Anderson and Andre Nunley are sophomores on paper, but they're in their fourth year of college already. So, you know, they bring a wealth of experience to our program. Trevor Berry's been here for a long time. And, and then Chris Buchhorst is now in his second year at six foot nine. So he's gonna add a little depth to our interior as well. So really excited about what these new guys and returners have done as far as learning a new scheme, learning a new system. I know it's been hard on them because it is brand new. You know, everything we're teaching day to day is new. So they. You know, new guys can't look to returners every day when it comes to basketball. Uh, and so they're really looking to our staff. And so, you know, 
the credit really goes right now to our staff. You know, we, we, we hired an amazing staff. I feel like we got the best staff in the league. Uh, Mark Rutledge, Connor Moore, Grant Makita have been a phenomenal addition to, to our program. They've done a heck of a job catching these guys up uh, to where I think we need to be at this time. So, uh, you know, a lot of the credit goes to those guys. Hey, Coach, one final question. In order to be successful in the Lone Star Conference this year, the Rams need to do what? We need to just get better every single day. You know, that's the thing I'm going to say to everyone. I know it sounds cliche, uh, but, you know, identity is a big word. We need to figure out who we are. I think we do that by getting better each day. The challenge for us is can we be better than the day before? If we do that throughout the season, continue to grow as a team, uh, who knows where this team can finish in the league. You know, I'm excited about uh, the talent that we have in our program. I know it's going to take some time for us as far as what we're trying to build here. But I'm excited about this team. You know, I, I think, uh, you know, on any given night, this team can find success on the floor. So I'm excited to see day to day, uh, you know, what they present every single day on the floor. But it's going to be, do we buy into getting better each day? You know, are we going to get bored with practice? Uh, or are we going to be excited to come in and compete every day? And, and right now, you know, the signs have been pretty positive about what we're doing day to day. But, you know, how's it going to be when you start hitting January and February? Because uh, those are the those are the months that really matter when you start getting really deep into conference play. And are you still improving, or have you hit kind of a stalemate in your in your team at that stage? And my hope is our team keeps improving come January and February to where we're competing for something special in March this year. Coach, we hope the same thing, and we're expecting great things from the Rams this year. Thank you very much for joining us. This has been Lone Star Conference Media Days 2022-23, brought to you by Angelo All Access. And we are now here with Rams basketball guard, Steve Webb, the three-time GLVC Defensive Player of the Year, coming to San Angelo, courtesy yes, St. Sir. Louis, Missouri. Yes, Steve, sir. for those fans that are watching that your first season here, they don't know what, what you are, how you play, what can people expect from Steve Webb this year? Um, from Steve Webb, you can, you can expect that tenacity out of me. Uh, I'm a very gritty guy. I do all the dirty work. and. Um, and the only thing that really matters to me is winning, to be honest. So, I mean, if you love winning, I mean, you, I'm going to be your guy. I'm going to be diving on loose balls, chasing after rebounds, and making the right plays. So, um, that's all I really am. I'm a gritty guy who really loves to win. Well, Steve, how has it been the coming over to San Angelo with your head coach, Vinay Patel? How's it been, just the transition here, and then just getting started, getting ready for the season? Uh, it, it's been an adjustment. Um, just being in a new environment. So I went to college, my last school, in the same city I grew up in. So it was just, um, I knew everything. I knew everybody that I walked by. And, um, it was just common and normal to me in that area. So it's been a little bit of an adjustment being out here in a new area. But um, with Coach V, um, it's been kind of easy. I, I love the way he coaches. He's a hard, hard coach, you know what I mean? He stays on you, he keeps you accountable. You make sure every day you're trying to get the best out of yourself. And, and as a person, I'm trying to get the best out of myself every day. So it's, it's easy plan for Coach B. Awesome. Well, coming from the Great Lakes Valley Conference, uh, had you heard of the Lone Star before? And what had you heard of the Lone Star Conference? So I, I, had not he I haven't heard much about it. I don't really know too much about it. But I've heard that it's a great conference. Like, it's one of the best conferences in the nation. So I was looking forward to the challenge of coming to play in this conference and seeing something different for the first time being in the GLVC for so long, but um, I know West Texas, West Texas is in this conference, so I'm looking forward to playing them. I, I've heard they're a pretty good team for the, historically a pretty good team, so I'm looking forward to playing them. Yeah, also, Coach V's coach there started. Yeah, 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 so yes, sir, yes, sir. That'll definitely be a good one. And coming in, gelling with the team, uh, what do you think as a team is the most important for you guys to be successful in the Lone Star this year? Just knowing our, our identity and uh, staying together. We're the new team, so it's not like we've had a, a bunch of years to gel or a bunch of years to know each other. It's just we're kind of fresh. Everyone kind of is eight new guys on the team, so no one's really – I mean, we, we've done a pretty good job getting to know each other, and we like being around each other, but everything's new. So that's just staying together as a team and knowing our identity and, and staying true to it will, be, will lead us to a lot of success this year. And how has that process gone with the – people that have been here bringing in all the new guys we guys gelled pretty well in that yeah so it's been pretty easy every all the guys are pretty easy to be around and no one is a, a head case and we love being around each other we go to the volleyball games together the soccer games together you know we just 
we just know that we have to be a one band and one sound to be good this year. And we're all looking forward to being good, so we're all doing the things we need to to be good this year. And we're looking forward to seeing you guys in action. Rams basketball yes, guard sir. Steve Webb, thank yes, you very sir. much for thank joining you, us. Thank you. We'll be right back. Let's start conference.